So get this podcast, listeners. The Virginia Education Department has instructed teachers to avoid teaching about Muslim extremism on 9-11. So as everyone knows, everyone who's lived through 9-11 knows that it was perpetrated by Muslim extremists, namely Muslim extremists who attacked the World Trade Center and the Pentagon and brought down a plane in Pennsylvania. And so here's the article. Virginia's Department of Education hosted a speaker who instructed teachers to exclude the role Muslim extremism played when teaching students about 9-11. In a PowerPoint delivered by education leadership scholar Amara DeQueer, teachers were instructed to avoid using language that could pin the events of 9-11 on Muslim extremism. The lecturer pointed to the heightened anti-Muslim sentiment that allegedly ticks up around the anniversary of 9-11 attacks. Quote, school and classroom 9-11 commemorations are sites for increased anti-Muslim racism. The presentation reads, this year's 20th anniversary commemorations will likely result in heightened risks of racist discourse, threats and violence targeting Muslim students in schools and society. Educators are well positioned to disrupt these risks by centering the socioeconomic and socio-emotional needs of Muslims in their commemoration plans. De Queer created a list of teaching standards that are in and out according to her viewpoints. Teaching standards that are in include acknowledgement of anti-Muslim racism. Teaching standards that are out include false assumption of Muslim responsibility for 9-11 and American exceptionalism. In other words, American exceptionalism should not be taught. It's a bad thing to teach. And it is wrong to teach, according to DeQueer, uh, the fact that 9-11 was perpetrated by individuals who were Muslim extremists. The presentation also listed examples of harmful teaching on 9-11. Examples included included, uh, quote, creating a tense classroom environment, reducing 9-11 instruction to death counts and fear-mongering, assumptions of emotional distance, teaching about Islam and or Muslims, uh, you can't teach about Islam and Muslims, amplifying the extremists and extremist acts of 9-11, demanding the condemnation of 9-11, failing to respond to anti-Muslim racism, and reproducing and reproducing a single American narrative that marginalizes other students. So in other words, the Virginia Department of Education is instructing its public schools to not teach the history of 9-11. Because if you were to teach the history of 9-11, you might offend some students in the classroom who happen to be Muslim or of Muslim descent. And that kind of misses the point because the whole purpose of teaching about 9-11 is to teach children about Muslim extremism and how it happened and how we were looking the other way. And as a result, we were attacked and many people were killed, including, by the way, Americans who happened to be Muslim and Americans who were Christian and Americans who were Jewish, all different and Hindu, all different kinds of religions of people who were murdered on 9-11 by Muslim extremists, but we can't apparently teach about that in the state of Virginia. And I have a a sidebar on this that I think podcast listeners will appreciate. So I happen to live in Maryland um, and I live in the the Maryland suburbs of Washington, D.C. And uh, it's not, doesn't take that long to get to Northern Virginia, like, you know, an hour and 10 minutes from my house. So an hour and 10 minute drive, you know, straight 60 mile per hour drive, eventually I'll be in Northern Virginia. And in Northern Virginia, there is an enormous Muslim population. Enormous. And I have no doubt in my mind that it is that population that this idiot in the Virginia Department of Education, that that she's trying to basically not offend that population. And it misses the point. 9-11 happened. It happened because of Muslim extremism, people that hated America from outside our country. They don't 
believe in our way of life. They don't believe in Western culture. They don't believe in Christianity. They don't believe in the Judeo-Christian foundations of our country. They don't believe in the fact that women should have equality with men uh, in the workplace and elsewhere. They, they, they don't believe any of these things. And as a result, they attacked our country because they would rather remake the country and make it look a lot like the Taliban. And yet, in real time, we have this stuff going on in Afghanistan with the Taliban, and we see how awful they are in real time. And now where they're being told in Virginia, no, you can't teach about this because we have this massive Muslim population in Northern Virginia, and God forbid we don't want to offend them. I'm sorry. To hell with that population and offending them. This isn't about offending people. This is about teaching real history, teaching what happened. Even if what happened draws you to the conclusion that, well, gee, there was Muslim extremism, and isn't that really sad that that happened? How do we stop that from happening again? Well, I don't know. Maybe freedom of religion would be a start in the Middle East. I mean, how many countries can you can you count in the Middle East that actually allow you to freely and openly practice your religion? And if the answer is like one, which is Israel, um, then what about the rest of the countries? When you can't do that, and if you can't do that, if you can't actually practice your religion in those other countries freely as a Christian or as a Jew or as a Hindu, then, and you, and you risk actually being killed from being killed from that, from, you know, practicing your religion, um, then clearly there is only one way of thought. And if you have no diversity of thought, then the chances are you're going to have extremism. And yet the Virginia Department of Education doesn't even want to teach that, which is just remarkable to me. And as I said, it's solely being done, in my opinion, not just because of the wokeness and the stupidness of public education systems in so many parts of the country. By the way, not all of them. Some public education systems are terrific. Some aren't so good. And some are losing their minds, like the Virginia Department of Education, but in their case, as I said, I'm quite certain it's because of the enormous Muslim population in Northern Virginia that it's transformed Northern Virginia. And by the way, transformed the state of Virginia as well, a state that was a red state and now is a purple state and probably pretty soon going to be a reliably blue state because you have these individuals who have transformed it, but then only want to learn a certain way. You know, we don't want to be told the truth. Isn't that kind of dangerous? Isn't that kind of like repeating history by not teaching people exactly how to learn from it? I mean, it's just incredible. 